Okay, Craig, so having a chat with you fresh off that 1914 win over Bath. First home start, fresh on the tail of your Aviva Premiership debut the week before Leicester. How are you feeling with you progressing this season? Oh, good, yeah, I think just taking more opportunities as they come. Last week was a big step up for me, having played in the European um, competitions and having making my Premiership debut at Leicester uh, at Welford Road on Boxing Day is a big, was a big thing for me personally. And um, yeah, having it, the thought of having been able to do that, you can you can do even play in any sort of uh, stadium without letting it get to you. So today was good, big crowd there, and um, very vocal as well. So it was it was really good to kick on from my debut last last week and and get a win as well this week. So. It's been two big crowds, obviously Leicester was 20,000 plus, our biggest of the season there with just over 7,000. It doesn't seem that all you're sort of playing on the big stage, you, you know, you're controlling the game well and, uh, and leading the team around the park well. Yeah, it's something that I didn't really think about before coming from National One and playing schoolboy rugby and A-League out there. It's something that you don't really know how you're going to react to and um, having gone out there is something you don't think of when you're out there. So, And if anything, it just makes you gives you more energy and more of a buzz to be put out there and playing so yeah and how's it been this week the first week with Andy Good as a teammate uh, uh, a well established Premiership fly half who's uh, almost one of the founding fathers of the league yeah exactly he's obviously got a wealth of Premiership experience he's golden boot winner last year I think uh, he's a good, good guy to have around he's come in with we've got me and Tom Katrick have him and uh, Mike Delaney and Dave Walden now as, uh, as our mentors as two young tens so it's, it's good to have him around and he's obviously got a lot of experience to pass on to us so it's good to have And are those wise old heads sort of helping in that development and, and making it not easy but sort of more comfortable for you in the, in the big games? Yeah they do, if there's anything I learn from people like that it's that the game is an easy game and that you don't have to overthink things and obviously you get sort of their mindset of the game so it's, uh, it's good to, to learn from that and obviously as one of my work comes is to be uh, to, to think about things less and not not let things spin around in my head so they're three good guys with a lot of experience who are very calm and, and cool on the pitch so it's, uh, it's good to learn. Brilliant, thanks Rick. Cheers man.